Rundeckers, in this short video, we're going to talk about one of the key ingredients to Rundeck's secret sauce, paprika. Plugins. Plugins are a way of customizing the inputs and outputs and some of the behaviors of Rundeck. Plugins can also provide a loose coupling between Rundeck and other applications. Plugins typically have a very specific function, which means they may not have to change or be updated as opposed to a hard-coded integration where a certain version of software only integrates with specific versions of other software. The Rundeck Plugin Developer Guide details about 15 different types of plugins and how you can create those for your specific use cases. If you search GitHub, you'll find over 75 free plugins developed by both Rundeck and the Rundeck community. Many plugins are just wrappers around various utilities and can allow you to represent scripts or functions as a workflow step within a job in the Rundeck user interface. There are three ways you can develop plugins. Java plugin development, which requires Java code distributed within a jar file. Groovy plugin development, which incorporates Groovy scripts for notification and logging plugins. And finally, the most popular, script plugin development, which provides you job creators the ability to wrap those shell scripts that you're already using day to day with a nice user interface and easy to select options. Now let's take a quick look at the Rundeck ecosystem. Rundeck is the black box. Rundeck wants to run automation against nodes, servers, containers, databases, network devices. We need information about those endpoints. And for that, we're going to look to a CMDB, a cloud provider, a spreadsheet, vCenter, whatever you have that has that information in it. To ingest that information, we have to be able to adapt to a lot of different sources. And that's where a resource model plugin comes into play. This is how we can pull all this different type of information. And we can pull multiple sources at the same time. When you're ready to execute automation on those nodes, you're likely going to use the option model plugin so your users can select parameters you've provided as a guardrail, or if you're feeling lucky, into their own. Node step plugins represent the heart of your automation jobs. These are the steps you're gonna run on all of your targeted nodes. There are a lot of node step plugins, and they're the most varied because they have the functions for like Kubernetes, cloud environments, Docker, Ansible, SQL, the kitchen sink. Workflow step plugins execute once per workflow, regardless of the number of target nodes. You're going to use these for updating a service ticket, running Ansible playbook, or maybe you're checking the state of another job or creating a global variable. The workflow strategy plugin lets you control how the steps are executed on each one of your nodes, while the node orchestrator plugin is where you control the order and timing the nodes are processed. And finally, the Node Executor plugin provides the various connection methods to your nodes, such as Secure Shell, WinRM, Docker, Ad Hoc Ansible, and away we go. With your automation executed, yes, there was output. And you need plugins to adapt how you read, convert, render, and write the logs to storage. The log filter plugins are especially useful when you want to capture key value data, highlight output, or even render formatted data from logs. Notification plugins are there to let everybody know every time a self-service job kept someone from interrupting your day. I won't detail all the colorful boxes here, but don't let that scare you. The plugins for security, those are in red, and there are plugins for source control, changing the user interface, and even a plugin that enables automated tours of how to navigate the Rundeck interface. Yes, you heard that right. You can give your users automated self-service training to use their self-service automation. For all the information about Rundeck plugins, check out docs.rundeck.com. Check out another video on creating your own plugin, or maybe take a Rundeck test drive. Again, this is Tracy from Rundeck. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.